my biggest piece of advice, I'm going to keep it very simple for you guys. Very simple, right? Everyone talks about relationships and networking and all that stuff, which, which is very true. But I'm going to keep it very, very simple. Become self-aware. And I don't think I've ever said this before. Become self-aware of your energy and how people um, how people react to your energy when you meet them, right? And I think that's important because not all we're all different. We're all human beings. Some of us, some of us have we we're, none of us are perfect. Some of us have great communication skills. Some of us don't. Some of us are very funny and charming. Some of us are quiet and reserved and not super charming, right? Some of us are super outgoing. Some of us are recluse. And there's no right or wrong. But I think it's very important to be self-aware of how you make people feel when you meet them for the first time. Because the thing that's going to increase your chances of getting from one person to the next person to the next person to the next person is how you make people feel, right? And I'm talking about how you get from Jared, from from Fader Magazine to Matt to Jared to Static to Joel to Lin Manuel to The Rock Disney. It's how you make people feel. So I would say step number one is try to become self aware of how you make people feel when you meet them. Um, and uh, I think that's extremely, extremely, extremely important. Um, and the second thing is to have faith in the path, right? Have faith in the path. When I met Jared in 2007, I had no idea that Disney was in my cards 10 years later. No idea. I didn't know. I didn't care. I wasn't thinking about it. And I shouldn't have been thinking about it because if I was thinking about it, I probably would have made the wrong decisions to get there. I probably would have ended up overthinking stuff or trying, you know, altering my own destiny in a way. Um, where it 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 was uh, detrimental instead of helpful, and so you have to have this level of trusting the future, trust the process, trust the universe, have faith in the current thing that you're doing because whatever current thing you're doing is going to place you where you need to be to get to the next thing, and then when you get to that next thing, you continue to have faith. In the process, you continue to focus on what you're doing right now, and that will open you up again to the next step. And then you keep pivoting until you get to these wins, you get to these plaques, you get to this person, you get to this opportunity, and it just it just snowballs from there. But if you don't have faith in the process, if you don't have faith in the future, you're going to make really bad decisions. And if you make bad decisions, you're just going to delay the process.